Okay, this is one of my uh, two-year-old Cubanelle plants. And this is one that I had overwintered in a, for the most part, an unheated little greenhouse. And uh, I have a video on that and I will put a link to it. But what I wanted to show you was the potential harvest that you can get from a single plant. Now the yellow ones here are the ones that came from the Cubanelle. And my uh, previous experience with these is that they can also become, uh, as they mature, uh, they'll go to an orange color and then to a red color. Similar to what you see these mature cayenne peppers here. See how it's this they start out as a um, a dark green and then they go to an orange give it a little bit more light and then to a red and these cubanelles will do the same thing the cubanelles although they're this color they're edible and um, so you don't have to worry about that you can harvest them at any point and I could have left them out here but uh, it's so hot and it's so I think stressful on these plants as you see it's drooping, it's midday, it's July 6th, so I need to water this. But um, but basically I wanted to, uh, and I'm not sure if I've already said this, because I had already recorded this and I accidentally, some kind of way, um, deleted, paused, not sure. But what I wanted to say was about that mini greenhouse, the potential of it. I only put this in the ground because I wanted to um, basically get a jump start on my in-ground garden. I do have several plants I still have in containers and um, but this is an experiment and I'm in zone 8a my winters are not such that I can leave a plant like this out in the um, in the open so I'm gonna have to uh, to cover it and what I've done in the past um, is I've actually excavated my plants out of the ground and put them in containers. Now that's not optimal. And as you see here, I do have plants that are in containers. But for something like this, that I don't want to lose, um, and it's grown significantly, I'm going to dig it up and I'm going to put it in a container. Don't know if I'm gonna keep going back and forth that way. I might eventually leave it uh, in a container because you can um, prune it way back. The one I'm showing you here, this is a California pepper. Um, also known as a bell pepper. I actually prefer the taste of these. This is another plant that's a couple of years old and um, these plants and when I checked in my mini greenhouse over the winter these plants or excuse me not the plants uh, the fruit of these plants can get significantly larger. I mean where you can't get your finger your fingers around these things. So probably about three, four inches uh, in circumference. So just wanted to share that. I've already, oh, I'd already mentioned that I did harvest some of my jalapenos as well as these uh, cayennes. But my focus at this point was to get, um, to reduce some of the burden off of this particular Cuban elf. Have a great day.